Hello guys, welcome back to our Chinese Squad Family TV and it's an honor guys, it's a great honor for me to be back here with you today. So today I step, stumble upon this amazing article, where do Prince William and Kate Middleton go from here? Don't forget they were recently on a vacation, a long vacation and even right now you'd even think they're still on a vacation because they honestly do not like working they're obviously going to a movie on the weekends and they are not doing absolutely anything those are the qualifications for being a, a member of the royal family the qualifications for being a member of the royal family is to be lazy and the british royal family is always quiet in the summer retreating to balmoral queen elizabeth's Scottish castle for deer stalking and barbecues by the river d prince william kate middleton and their three children prince george Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis recently joined the monarch there for one big sleepover, according to Vanity Fair. A cozier vibe than that depicted by Prime Minister's past accounts of high-pressure parlor games. Maybe it's the lingering pandemic or the fact that Prince Henry has been named as part of the late Jeffrey Epstein sex trafficking ring. Last month, his accuser Virginia sued Prince Andrew in federal court in New York. The prince denies the accusations. Mostly though, there's a gapping Prince Harry and Meghan Markle shaped hole in the family. Since Harry and Meghan Markle left, the royal family has resorted to bullying them constantly, never ending bullying from senior courtiers in the royal family. Now, Prince Andrew is being highly, highly protected by the royal family. You see, cash for access, Prince Charles protected by the royal family, a black woman simply for being black. You are abused, insulted, and dehumanized, and you are told to take it. That's, I'm so glad and happy every time I just think about it. I'm glad and happy that Meghan Markle and Prince Harry left that cesspool of hate. When the two international superstars resigned as senior roles in 2020, they took a force field of energy and interest with them. After the history-making Meghan Markle, the remaining, the remaining members of the monarchy leave an impression that we are returning to the status quo. The mantle of young royal now falls to Prince William and Kate Milton, who are whether by nature or necessity, since he's the heir to the throne, a more reserved couple. They are set to assume more prominent roles under complicated circumstances. Both of them are lazy. Let's just be honest with one another. Each and every single one of them are lazy. Prince William and Kate Milton do not like working. Actually, even the tabloids keep telling them to work, to work, to work, but in exchange, Prince William and Kate Middleton hand over pictures of their children to plaster in the front pages in exchange for good press so they don't have to work, so they're not, they're not actually talked about or criticized for working less because they do like working less. For a glimmer of a moment, it seemed the Fab Four could usher in a new exciting era together. Instead, in March, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle broke the royal family's cone of silence and alleged racism within its ranks in the landmark interview with Oprah. When you're bullied, guys, when you're bullied, when you're abused, when you're insulted, talk about it. Don't keep quiet. Share your experience. It's important to share your experience. Prince Harry referenced a trap Prince William. Meghan said sensational reports claiming she made Kate cry over a bridesmaid dress actually happened in the reverse. Another lie by Camilla Tomine, who lied about this and got a black biracial woman bullied for allegedly making for the lie that the biracial woman made the white Kate Milton cry, which was a complete lie. For some, both Prince William and Kate's images were bruised, along with their credibility as mental health advocates. As Meghan said, the family largely ignored her pleas for help while suffering suicidal ideation. About a month later, Prince Philip died widowing Queen Elizabeth in after a 73-year marriage and drew into sharper focus that an eventual succession from the Queen to Prince Charles to Prince William looms. Prince William and Kate now find themselves in a transitional post-Harry and Meghan post Prince Philip Park Place. Where do they go from here? Geographically speaking, Prince William and Kate are seriously considering a move to Windsor just outside London. The Telegraph reported this week. We both know that Prince William talks to the Telegraph, Kate Milton and the Miltons talk to Camilla Tomines in the Telegraph. They both came up with a lie that Camilla, that, that Camilla Tomine wrote in her articles that a black woman had made the future Queen of England cry. 
a complete, complete lie. The monarch spends much of her time at Windsor Castle, which would make Prince William and Kate better able to support the Queen as they take on a more senior role at the heart of the royal family. Among the available Windsor properties, Frogmore House, not to be confused with Prince Harry and Meghan's fro former Frogmore Cottage. The Telegraph hinted at the family's long-term thinking, writing, if Prince George and Louis are to follow in their father's footsteps and attend Eton, a move to Windsor will also mean their school will be on the doorstep. While Prince Charles is next in line, the future of the institution, the glittery public relations campaign of it all, falls more wishly to Prince William and Kate, both 39 and their young family. Unfortunately, if that's the future, then the future is lost because both of them are lazy and do not like working at all. But no worries for them because they have an entire tabloid to life on their behalf. They have a lifetime of royal engagements ahead of them. Theirs will be the photogenic faces on the tea towels. Prince William and Kate maintain a relatively bubble of privacy around their children, sharing photos only around birthdays and holidays, but Prince George sandwiched between his parents appeared at the Euro Cup this summer in a wee suit and tie, completing the literal picture of the line of succession. Don't, that's actually a lie because Prince William and Kate will share pictures of their children to the British tabloids in exchange for good press from time to time again. If Prince William and Kate are to father the British monarchy, they'll have to evolve with a changing UK. It doesn't help with the younger, multicultural generation that they did not release personal messages acknowledging Black Lives Matter, a mental health charity founded by the royal family, did issue an official message of support for Black Lives Matter or condemn did not issue an official message of support for Black Lives Matter or condemn racist headlines against Meghan Markle. We all know that they did not do that. They did not issue support to Black Lives Matter. As a matter of fact, the Queen's Prince William's cousin, Phillips, Peter Phillips, actually came online and said that he did not support Black Lives Matter. And some of them called human rights political, Black Lives Matter political organization. How can black people be fighting for their human rights be called political. Even as Prince William said he was sickened by racism against British football players. But there has also been a tonal shift since Prince Harry and Meghan's departure. Prince William and Kate have become more relaxed on social media. On Instagram, Kate posted herself getting her COVID-19 vaccine in jeans and a snug tea. And the family shared uncharacteristically emotional tributes to Princess Diana on Mother's Day. And when they launched a YouTube channel in May, their first upload was a cheeky montage video filled with outtakes. On their 10th wedding anniversary in April, in April the couple that long issued PDA released two curly new portraits. Obviously, PR, we both know that Prince William is allegedly involved in a relationship with Rose Hanbury. Whether these are the real changes or just a rebrand to the royal firm may never be entirely clear. Royal watchers are back to analyzing and close reading the scant public statements or are we? As much as Prince Harry and Meghan shook the royal ecosystem, they also created a new order, proving that being warm, vulnerable and Instagrammable breeds real connection, endearing a very inaccessible institution to a mass audience. Call it the Diana rule. If Prince William and Kate seem less stiff, they may be inching towards adopting it, although that is completely unlikely because that's never going to happen. Prince William and Kate are never ever going, after what they did to Meghan Markle, there is no amount of PR that will ever save them. After the abuse, after the lie that a what a black woman had made a white woman cry came out, which turned out, which was completely a lie. I mean, who else could believe it? Who else could believe that? Only a racist would believe that a black woman can make a white woman cry. The future, the white woman happening to be the future queen of England. So that's never going to happen. Those are complete lies. And I'm really, really glad for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle that they had to leave this cesspool, a cesspool of hate, bigotry, lies generated by Kate Middleton and Prince William against them, to smear them, to bully them. I cannot stand Prince William and Kate Middleton going and talking about mental health charity when they kept quiet when Meghan Markle was being abused. I cannot stand Prince William condemning racism against black football players. Don't get me wrong, that's cool, but that's actually hypocritical as well because he kept his mouth shut when clearly Archie and Meghan Markle were being racially abused all day, every single day, 
in the UK and they couldn't even correct a lie that Meghan Markle did not make Kate Middleton cry. So don't bring me that PR stuff that Prince William and Kate Middleton are currently on because personally for me, I'm not buying it and neither should you. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and leave a comment below. I want to hear directly from you. Thank you guys. I love you. Thank you for always supporting this channel. Please support us by liking, subscribing and leaving a comment below. I want to hear directly from you. Love you guys. And if there's any video that you'd like us to talk about, we will just for you. Thank you. Tell, tell us what you think about this article that I just read out to you. Tell us what you think. I want to hear directly from you. Love you guys.